Oh, hey. Hey, hey, hi. I'm Avinash. I'm Jeevan. How are you? Pretty cool, bro. Uh, have you decided your theme for the coming presentation? Yeah, I'm planning with my friend Aditya. Oh, Aditya? Oh, can I join your team? Yeah, not a problem. That's fine. So, yeah, let's meet tomorrow. This is the top, bro. Okay. Hey, Jeevan. Hey, what's up, son? Hey. How are you, man? Alright, man. So, Jeevan, did you decide the topic for the presentation? Yeah, we thought of several topics, uh, but we have decided to present this or not. IMS is a better one. IMS? What does IMS mean? Information Management System. Oh, looks nice, man. Yeah. Alright, Jeevan. Uh, this is Aditya. Hey, hi, Aditya. How's it going, man? Everything is good. How about you? Great, thank you. So, could Jeevan tell you about the topics for the presentation? We just started with it, man. We are, did not look much into it. So what about you, Jeevan? I've gone through some of the topics. Okay, that's all right. So it must be generally with a different file organization that are available to store physical databases in IMS. Uh, these are generally referred as access methods. So there are some important points uh, which we have to cover in this presentation. Like each physical database is a stored database and uh, every Logical database is uh, stored as a hierarchical database. So, coming to the access methods, the access methods are generally two types the sequential access method and the direct access method. And uh, coming to the sequential access method, there are again two types this is the hierarchical and uh, the hierarchical index. These are generally the higher level access methods, which use in turn the low, lower level access method like the sequential access method and uh, the integrated and overflow sequential access method. Uh, these generally they use uh, the functions of uh, the lower level access methods to, to describe them. And coming to the direct access methods, uh, these are again the hierarchical direct access method and uh, the hierarchical index direct access method. And it also contains the overflow. It can be derived using the overflow sequence access method or here it's just the hierarchy. Special access method uh, starting with the HSAM. The HSAM ties together the segments of a tree by physical continuity. So let's consider a part of a company database which contains departments, employees, project and dependencies, some supervisors and workers. So let's consider a occurrence tree or a hierarchical occurrence. For, for, the, for this part of a database which has some departments like administration and some employees, some dependents, some supervisors and workers. Okay. So it, it's a generally, it's a the next sequential uh, access method is a hierarchical index sequential access method. It generally contains two files or uh, two storage areas which is called the index file and the linked file. The index file is also called as a prime area and the link file is called the overflow area and the prime area contains the root segments uh, and also contains the additional segments that fit within the record in a file, particular file and the overflow area which contains uh, the remaining part of a uh, linearized tree. The first index file can be a ISAM or a prime VSAM that is accessible via index on a sequence field of a root segment. If it is an ISAM, if the file is deleted, but it's, it's not deleted from the database, if it, it is a prime VSAM, it's uh, deleted from the database. Okay. So, are you with me guys? Kind of. These are covered in the undergrad here, so you must know these. Undergrad? I Very bad. <laughs> what about you, Devan?